May I invite the Dean, Academic Courses, to announce the winner of the Srimati Marti Annapurna Gurnath Award for Excellence in Teaching for the academic year 2013 to 14, and also read the citation for the awardee. Dr. Marti G. Subramanian, one of our distinguished alumnus, presently professor at Stern School of Business, New York University, instituted Srimati Marti Annapurna Gurnath Award for Excellence in Teaching in the year 2012. The criteria, the weighted average of the teacher course feedback score in theory courses for the last four, four years. I'm glad to announce that the selection committee has identified Professor Devdas Menon, Department of Civil Engineering, as the award recipient for this year. I will now read the citation for the award. Professor Menon is an alumnus of IIT Madras and has been a faculty in the Department of Civil Engineering since 1998. He has always been one of the most sought after teachers in the department. His primary research interest is structural concrete design as applied to buildings, bridges, and special structures. He has also carried out innovative research and development in affordable building systems and in biomechanics, orthopedic devices. Professor Menon has published extensively and is known for his textbooks on reinforced concrete design, structural analysis, and advanced structural analysis. Professor Menon has a special interest in holistic education. He is the author of the popular book titled Slop, Stop, Sleepwalking Through Life. He has also been conducting workshops for students, teachers, and corporate organizations on finding meaning and fulfillment in life through self-awareness and inner transformation. His lectures on this topic have been very popular with students as well as alumni and have transformed the way in which students look at their education and career paths. Professor Menon has also designed and teaches two unique courses on self-awareness and integral karma yoga, which have gained popularity among the students from various dis disciplines across the institute. Professor Menon has been instrumental in changing the outlook of the student population at large through his role as a faculty advisor for the Reflections Forum since 2003 and has organized the lecture series and brought out periodical magazine reflections. Professor Menon is an excellent role model of a teacher who is passionate about teaching and hence he is adored and admired by his students. The institute is proud to confer upon him the Srimati Marti Annapurna Gurunath Award for excellence in teaching for his demonstrated proficiency and innovativeness in teaching. I invite Professor Devadas Menon to go over to the stage and receive the award from the chief guest and deliver acceptance speech. Thank you. This is a pleasant surprise, uh, a birthday gift actually. I turn 56 tomorrow and on this occasion I first wish to uh, thank gratefully my parents and my wife Roshni sitting out there who has been a constant support for putting up with the uh, with all this uh, effort, this obsession with learning and uh, writing books and so on. On this occasion, I would like to remind myself that excellence in teaching can only be reflected by excellence in learning. It's the students that really matters. As teachers, we are content to be in the background, it's they who should be in the limelight. And I'm really happy that many of our students have uh, achieved success and some of them will return here to receive these uh, Distinguished Alumni Awards. In our Indian tradition, uh, we have this concept of Guru Dakshina, but I think the real Guru Dakshina that any true Guru would look for is the full flowering 
of the student. There is no better Dakshina than that. <clears throat> I would like to add that as a teacher, as teachers, it gives us great delight to see students uh, really excel in the areas of specialization in which we have a role, the subjects we teach them. And it's, uh, it's a delight to have wonderful students who can question and challenge. And uh, it really makes your day if you can have a good interaction with them. Uh, bringing out good insights which are uh, wonderful to share with colleagues and students. But some students tell me, and I think it's true, that for the vast majority of our students, at least 95% of what they learn in the classrooms have very little to do, what they, to do with what they later go on to do in their lives. And I was... Uh, Happy to hear a similar observation uh, from one of our DA awardees. But the good news is even such students uh, turn out to excel later in life. And I've been wondering over the years whether we could actually design some courses which could directly help all our students so that they put to practice not just 5%, but maybe 95% of what they learn in these courses in managing their daily lives. And that's how we came up with these two new courses in IIT. They are general courses, uh, self-awareness and integral karma yoga. If you look at the logo of IIT Madras here, just below the symbol of the lamp of knowledge, you will find an inscription in Sanskrit, an inscription which is actually cast in concrete outside the Civil Engineering Department building at BSP. It reads, Siddhir Bhavati Karmaja. And it literally means excellence or perfection in all actions, in all actions. <clears throat> so whatever thoughts we think, whatever words we speak or listen to, whatever deeds we do, we are required to do them with perfection. We are required to do them mindfully, not negligently. We are required to do them wholeheartedly, not half-heartedly. We are required to do them joyously. We are required to do them authentically, and not with any, um, any trace of a lack of integrity. So those are the values I think uh, are respected in our tradition and values that we wish to promote among our colleagues and our students. And that's the genesis of these courses. But how do you do all that? How do you really put into practice something that requires a sustained inner motivation, something that calls for a higher vision, which drives every action that you do. This message, by the way, is the message from the Bhagavad Gita. How do you discriminate between what to do and what not to do? How do you learn to identify your own dysfunctions and how do you learn to transform them? How do you learn to nurture your higher potentials? How do you learn to find fulfillment in your relationships, in your work? How do you deal with conflicts that inevitably you need to face in your daily lives? How do you go beyond your narrow, self-centered interest into a larger wholeness, into serving humanity, into, into finding oneness. These are some of the themes we explore uh, at length in these two courses, and I'm happy to say that they've been received well. We have about 
75 students right now attending Integral Karma Yoga, and that's about 1% of the student population uh, right now. And that includes students from right across the spectrum, uh, including foreign students. So, I wish to conclude by saying the real center of this institute is the student. It's our duty to develop the student. They represent the future of the country and of the world. But teachers also have a large role to play. We have to go beyond being mere pundits or specialists in our narrow fields of specialization. We have to become gurus, which literally mean dispellers of darkness. Yatha guru, tatha shishya. Thank you.